record. Good morning, uh, this is Jonesy, and um, Happy New Year to everyone. It's been a, you know, at least a month since I've actually made any videos. I've been busy trying to take care of myself and uh, my business uh, things. Um, I'm fine. I turned 67 on December 22nd. I have had different things that occur, you know, um, within that time till now, but I made it through it, um, which is life trials and tribulations and, you know, those type of things. But uh, information I want to share is the things that I've um, recently been involved in and, uh, did, you know, it came out to be much positive. Uh, <clears throat> first thing, sciatic issues. Uh, many people, older people, tend to have those problems. The vein, the, sorry, the um, nerve, it's the largest nerve in your body, and it goes down the back of your, from your behind, down the back of your leg, and then up the front. It is the most excruciating pain one can actually have or experience. And trying to figure out what and how to cure this pain. Pain uh, killers will not help. And epidural, if it, you do get it, which is the, the uh, injection of steroids into your back area, lasts very minimum. I've done all these things. And one of the things I do now is I read at least an hour a day or two hours a day on different things, whether it's the body, anatomy, history, you know, just everything I could put my hands on. So now I was reading on this sciatic nerve. You know, what is the problem here? Well, what happens is your nerve, it gets inflamed, and that's where you get this excruciating pain. Well, you know, you let me tell you, once you have experienced this, you will know what it's all about. You'll know it's the, it's the nerve, it's the big nerve. So once it's inflamed, that's when you know it becomes very irritating and very hard to deal with, you know, and uh, until it goes away. It does go away, but it can come back at any time. Once it gets inflamed, I cannot say why it does get inflamed. But I want to get to the root of the cause why, um, what to do to alleviate, you know, this kind of pain. So I was reading that... You need to work on the problem and say, what, if it's inflamed, that's what's causing the pain. So how can we reduce or get rid of the inflammation, you know? So um, I read that um, maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago, you need to ice the area uh, with the ice pack. You put um, a towel or something around the ice pack and then you you lay on it, you put it right near to that area that, uh, you know, you get in the pain from, uh, for 20 minutes. And then you alternate, you and you would do the same thing with the heat pack, heat, um, you know, on your, uh, on that area. So you will do this maybe every couple of hours or so. I recently experienced it uh, right before Christmas, and, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to go to work. I had totally forgot what I had read and what I'd learned how to handle this, but it came back to me. I can tell you honestly, after trying doing it the first time, I still I felt some relief, but it wasn't. I can tell it wasn't all gone. And I did it again twice, and I can feel that like I was getting better because I couldn't stand up. So I, I did it the third time, and um, then I felt, wow, this is this seems to be working. So this is not the first time I've done this. I've done this before, but I totally forgot. When the pain hits you, you, I don't know, you forget everything, and I did forget what I needed to do. But it came back to me, and the Holy Spirit in me guided me to go ahead and have this done. So I did it about three or four times, and can you believe it, I was able to go out to work. Uh, because I walk 16 miles a day in the airport pushing the wheelchairs, people in the wheelchairs. And um, 
I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. But uh, fortunately, I was able to, able to overcome this situation by applying that uh, technique I, I just uh, informed you of. So reading is very important. It's, you know, it gives you a lot of information and knowledge to be able to help yourself and do things so you don't have to run to the clinic or the hospital because um, there are home remedies and things you can do to alleviate pain and suffering. So I wanted to share this with you. I say please forgive me because I have not been able to get here and do um, the videos. My videos are basically as, as to inform the many people don't have knowledge on many of these things that happens as, as you become a senior citizen. I did at first wanted to try to make money off the video. The videos, you know, as far as subscriptions, the more you um, videos you have out there and people are subscribing or whatever it is, you'll find that um, you'll be able to make money with it, you know, that type of thing. But then I realized, you know, if my faith in God is strong, then I don't have to worry about that. So I turned my focus off trying to make money by sharing this information to more just informing, and whatever happens, happens, it comes, because I'm here to do God's work and try to help others in their, sif their suffering, you know, to alleviate that. You know, so I can tell you, starting off the year, I just finished 30, well, 25 minutes of stationary bicycle riding, and uh, I'm drinking my lemon water, as you will see in my other videos. That's what I, I have. I already drank uh, two 16-ounce bottles of water I got right because my body needed to be cleansed and purified. So this is lemon water with honey and some a little bit of sweetener. So... One of the things in my spiritual reading is that uh, one has to forgive oneself. So I forgave myself. I did some, you know, I don't know, crazy, stupid things, but we do all do things. I eat chocolate. I love chocolate. Uh, I can't tell you why, but I do. But then when I have chocolate, I have beer with it. Um, chocolate is bad enough by itself, but then I would have a Foster's Australian beer. One or two, uh, not every day, but, but I used to have it every day, but now not so. And um, that's not obviously that's not going to help because I picked up weight, and that's something I'm trying to reduce. You know, so this is not a resolution; this is a life change. So I decided I need to kick the beer, kick the chocolate. I'm not saying I won't have chocolate or beer anymore. I'm basically just saying that um, I'm eliminating in this out of my life at, the, at this moment because it's not really helping me in my goals, to, my plans to try to reduce weight for this year. Uh, as you know, as you get older, you get, you know, um, it becomes more difficult for you to, um, you know, to, to do things, you know, and, um, you know, the body does not work the same. Anyway, I just realized that the um, video is a little bit too long, but I want to cut it and I'll do another one.